Also breaking, a second Illinois airplane today is forced to make an emergency landing because of a bird strike. The most recent incident happened right after takeoff at Rockford International Airport. Now, just this morning, another bird strike caused the plane at Midway to head back to the airport. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov just spoke to a passenger aboard the Rockford flight. We heard a bang and then it didn't sound right, so then we kind of hovered around pretty low. And then we eventually turned around and went back to the airport. Mundelein resident Jordan Smith says it happened that fast. One minute, this Allegiant Airline Airbus was taking off from Rockford's airport. The next, he realized it was making an emergency landing. We don't know if they uh, struck a bird or if something happened to the engine. But regardless, they had uh, some indications that the, the one engine failed. 177 people were on board that flight. No one was hurt. Rockford Airport officials now believe the jet hit a flock of geese. Passengers in the back noticed the problem. It was obvious what happened and like what side of the plane it happened on. You know, definitely you could smell that it was from an engine, no doubt about it. It was scary. I, I won't deny it. Just hours earlier, a similar scare at Midway Airport. I think we uh, hit a bird, brother. We got a bird, I think, uh, sucked into number one. That plane with 170 people on board also forced to land. This year, the Federal Aviation Administration says there's been 22 bird strikes at Midway and 28 at O'Hare. Transportation professor Joe Schwederman says safety officials are always looking at ways to try and prevent them. It is an event that has potentially catastrophic outcomes that you can't plan for. Officials say the Rockford jet's left engine was the one hit. That plane had to be towed to the gate. It was headed to Punta Gorda, Florida. And tonight, many of those passengers are still waiting for another flight out. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Dana, thank you.